So in this video, um, I'll be going over a couple of functions of a sequencer board that was actually sent to me. Um, they have a uh, eBay page called IOT for you, and I'll put that down in the uh, description below just so you can access it. Um, I'm going to be going over a couple features of the board today. Um, Right now I have it set in your standard red, yellow, green sequence, and it's hooked up to my new 1288GE uh, slash Fortran groove back. <clears throat> this signal's based on something else I saw a picture of before, but uh, we'll be reviewing the signal another time. Uh, so this board here, this is it. There's not much to it, it's pretty small. Uh, and it's good because you can put all the neutrals in one spot so you don't need to have any morettes or wagos or whatever you're deciding to use. Um, the voltage range on it is actually good for the uh, European market as well. Uh, 100 to 240, 50, 60 hertz. Um, so it was one of those boards, like most boards, you, it will remember your uh, the last settings that are saved on it. So, for example, we're going to push down this little knob. So there's a bunch of different modes. So you can scroll all the way up. And it has 37 different modes. Um, I'll briefly, we'll, we'll go over some of the major modes. Um, and then I'll just kind of uh, run you through what the other modes do. So, let's, for example, though, let's, let's hit number one. So... When you hit number one, it will show you the red LED indicator will come up here. So that what that's actually telling you is to program your red time. So I already have it set to seven seconds, so we're gonna keep that. Yellow, you can see the yellow indicator came on. I left the yellow at uh, three seconds. And then the green indicator for 11 seconds. And then when you hit, that's it. And now it's programmed. So it comes with, Instructions that are very straightforward tells you what to, tells you how to program it. This comes with the board. It has uh, it says it has a bunch of different modes on it. So the mode that we selected it's mode one, and it just says all colors adjustable. So it's just a standard, like it's 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 just kind of a novelty mode. Uh, Mode two is your standard traffic light sequence, which is what I just had it in. And then it, so it goes through all the other ones, British traffic light sequence, red, yellow, green, all flash sequence, old US traffic light sequence, uh, red flashing, and then it has a diff different flashing speeds, which are adjustable with the dial as well. Uh, yellow flashing, same thing, uh, green flashing, alternating red green so that would be a feature that you would use if you were to use a uh, like a railroad crossing like i have here uh now keep in mind this is a 120 volt board typically these run on 12 volts um i have mine adjusted to do 120 but that's just for my setup um red off green off um it says pedestrian with green to flashing red to solid red. So it's just your, uh, so it would be like if you just wanted to have a pedestrian signal hooked up to it as well. Uh, pedestrian with red to flashing green to solid green. Uh, pedestrian with rapid flashing. So we'll go over some of these different sequences. So basically, like I said, there's 37 different modes on here. Um, you can choose whatever one you want. A lot of them are kind of novelty mode, so like if you wanted to set your light up as like more of a party light, um, you can do that. Um, so let's change it to the British mode. So what did it say that one was? That one there was mode number three. So let's scroll through this. So we'll keep the sequencing the same. I'll keep it at three, 11, done. There you go.
So when the yellow comes on, it just keeps the same yellow time as it does when it changes back to red. Uh, I am curious about this pedestrian with rapid flashing. So this is actually the first time that I've powered this thing up. So we're all kind of seeing this for the same time because I wanted to get a uh, honest opinion on it. Um, it's a very versatile board. Uh, I definitely recommend it to anyone who is in the market for a board. Um, so what mode was that? Mode 13. Oh, that's kind of cool. So yeah, like I said, it does a lot of novelty things. So it's uh, this would this is great for like if you were uh, if I wanted to hook this up upstairs while I'm having a party, and I can just put it in this mode. This is actually kind of cool. I wasn't aware of this feature. Um, so the board, from what I see, it's forty dollars U.S., which I think works out to about just shy of fifty dollars Canadian if you're up here in the Great White North, like I am. But, yeah, so this is a, yeah, no, this is a fantastic board, honestly. Um, I just wanted to uh, show a couple features. We'll go through a couple other modes here in a moment. Um, but, like I said, it's easy to hook up. Uh, it is high voltage, so when I say high voltage, I mean anywhere like 120 volts for most of you. Um, if you're familiar with that stuff, that's great, but... I'm not going to show you how to hook that up. That's all in the instructions. Uh, really, you should have a qualified electrician or a uh, competent person hook this up for you. Um, you know, no, the, they're the person who's selling this or myself isn't uh, liable for anything that may happen to you. Uh, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, let me go through a couple other features and I'll be back here in a sec. So this is one of the pedestrian modes. And this is actually something uh, that would be used in if you had like a, uh, maybe not necessarily a UK style, but some European style pedestrian signals would do the flashing uh, walk person before it would uh, go back to the standing person. Um, the other mode, so that was actually, so that's mode 12. So we're gonna go through this again. So we're going to go into mode 11. Boom. Flashing green to solid green. So that feature there, it's just pedestrian, but I, that could actually be, uh, I would actually use that particular mode for like a transit signal. So it's like kind of uh, flashing, letting you know that it's about to change for the streetcar, and then it goes to green, and then when the streetcar leaves, it goes back to red. But that would that would be what I would use it for specifically. I think this is the regular, well, I say regular, but the uh, Canada US style pedestrian with green to flashing red to solid red. Well, maybe I selected the wrong one. Uh, red off, green off. Oh, I selected mode 10. Anyway, that's just your, uh, that's another novelty thing. There we go, let's try that. I think I selected the right one this time. We'll see if this one works out for me. Oh, I think I must have selected the same one again. Let me just, give, give, give me a sec here, give me a sec. Let me find the right mode. So this mode here is kind of like an old, uh, traffic light sequence, so it has like the green and yellow before it goes to red, kind of like some of the stuff that you would have seen down in the States, and it has another version where the red and yellow come on before it goes green, and then the green and yellow come on before it goes red, so that would be something if you had like an old fixed four-way 
like an old uh, Darley or something. But uh, yeah, so it's just another example of, uh, of a neat feature on this thing. Um, I'm going to select another one here as I go through and I'll, uh, I'll show that. So this would be another one that you could use if you had a four-way or kind of like cuts out. It's supposed to like replicate a uh, mechanical controller. So anyway, you can like, if you have light, you can just, it's super easy to change because like, I guess for myself where I'm using my full-size controller, it's, uh, I mean, for me, I've, I know how to use that thing, but like for most, most of you out there, you're going to be using like a sequencer board, but yeah, that one's actually very easy to use, has a bunch of different, uh, modes, like I've said before, but, uh, you know, all I can say is just play around with it, see what you like, you can, you can easily change them up, it's, uh, it takes about two seconds to program, and like I said, when, it, when you unplug it, it will remember the last sequence that was, uh, hooked up to it, um, but yeah, no, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description there, and check out the eBay store, and they're all very affordable, uh, there's a couple other boards on there as well that, uh, he advertises, um, but yeah, that's my, uh, that's my personal two cents on this board. I appreciate you sending it to me, and I'm going to hook it up to one of my lights here. Uh, possibly I uh, might have to put another light outside to hook it up to, and I'll definitely bring it out for a couple parties and uh, put that strobing mode on. That was probably one of my favorite modes, to be quite honest with you. Uh, well, once I'm allowed to have parties again, but uh, anyway, you know, be safe and... Uh, yeah, check out this uh, board. Give this guy some uh, give this guy some love. Have a good one, guys.